U.S. companies and U.S. products are really accessed into these to these markets. Um, so, so bottom line, just to round it all up, Deborah, your your group along with Gallup put out a report this week. No recovery. It's very gloomy on lack of productivity growth and lack of economic growth. Are you more optimistic? Was that done before the election? And has that completely changed the tone? Well, this is a very significant report, Sarah, because it's looking really at 50 years of the decline in U.S. productivity. And what's very, very important coming out of this report, and I urge everyone to read it, is that we have three sectors in our economy, healthcare, education, and housing, that account now for 35% of all economic activity. And there is absolutely no productivity in these sectors. And indeed, there's a very deleterious cost-quality relationship in these sectors, whereas the costs increase, the quality is not increasing. If we do not begin to fix somehow the productivity projection and the quality of these three sectors, making up, again, 36% of our economy, we will not see the long-term growth and productivity and standard of living that we need. Also, very important in this report that involves tremendous work from Gallup and the Council on Competitiveness, this drag, there are the three drags in our economy, healthcare, education, housing, really are going to have a very negative impact on the next generation of entrepreneurs and innovators in America. All right, Deborah, we've got to leave it there. A lot more discussion on these key issues for business, the economy, and politics coming Friday as I head down to the Council of Competitiveness Forum. But for now, I'll leave it there. Thank you for joining us. And Carl, we're going to have a lot of conversations with CEOs from various industries, FedEx, U.S. Steel, and many more. I cannot wait. As we go to break, uh, take a look at shares of Nike this morning. Already the worst Dow stock of the year. Down again today as Cowan downgrades the